Invasion of Season 5 is here, finally. Um, and this is probably the one I've been most excited for. I mean, I only started in Season 3, so it's only competition of Season 4. Which, overall, I think was a good season. I, I, I think people were very overly negative on it. I think the content, you know, was good. Had my favourite seasonal palettes. Um... I don't think this season clears it. This season it can, continues um, to have palettes that don't exactly relate to a specific character, which helps because it means that the palettes will then suit more characters. It's not blatantly tied to any a specific type of character. Like the Cryomancer skins. Like, tell me who they're going to work on besides Rain, you know, 90% of the time. It's, um... Interesting, to say the least. Um, <laughs> how they chose to do Dolder's Wacky Colours in Season 4. It doesn't make sense, no, but I like it. You know, I there's a lot of variety. I did the Seasonal Towers. The Seasonal Towers actually have a shitload of palettes now. They're, they're not worthless like the first three seasons. There's a point to do them now. It is quite a grind now. Um, and I was until like 3 a.m. Monday, well, I guess Tuesday morning at that point, just to finish the seasonal tower because it took so long throughout the season. You know, like 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 50, under 50 days of a season, you gotta complete these 60 really long and hard towers on top of completing the regular mesas. That's probably not something I'm going to do normally. I, I, I feel the norm is complete the Mesa and when the season returns, do the seasonal tower. It might be different by then, considering, you know, DLC characters are going to get palettes. Maybe cameos get palettes at some point. Stuff will change. Um, but, yeah, these seasonal palettes, they are different. And I think there's a bit more color variety than, like, the first three seasons still. But there's not, like, crazy random colours for some characters. Um, and also, I, I will say that the choice in the regular palettes is questionable. I do think most of the palettes you can separate, but these are actual PNGs of actual skins from the season. And, like, you know, <laughs> they're a bit similar. Right, so you already had that like teal like color, and you know, this season has that and yellow again. It's at different shades, you know, you can tell a difference more like in game. I imagine it, it, it's odd though because they've chosen a color scheme that is essentially the one they just did, and the old colors for both seasons swapped a yellowish color for a purple. They've both done that, which I find very weird. I think that's an odd choice to be doing that. Um, because I think you make for decent looking base palettes. It does feel a bit redundant though. What I actually like the most here, and normally this isn't the thing I particularly care about, is the uh, the, the the skins that change the, uh, the skin of the model, because characters get like guard eyes and shit. You know, they like palettes like this. But you got these lightning effects. Um, Quan is a unique case. He actually has gear that, that relates to the season because he has like lightning patterns for his toes. They look like cuts, kind of, actually, but I don't know. And then you've got like the god eyes there, which is a very clever idea. Quan Chi, despite being DLC, is some of the coolest character in the game cosmetically. It does not make sense. And you know, I was excited to see Rain in one of these, you know, the lightning effects, the purple. It matches Rain perfectly. It matches Rain better than it does Raiden, right? Unfortunately, it's only for this skin. I feel they definitely should have prioritized giving each of Rain's skins this um, effect. But, you know, they commonly neglect certain characters on the roster. Like, Lee Mei gets a fuck all 
Natara too, I think. Um, like, like the number isn't exact, but like, it's always been inconsistent on, on how many pirates characters get. You know, who gets the the, the special uh, skin changing ones and the special effect ones and all that stuff. It's all over the place. A lot more characters again. Pirates for the Order of Darkness skins now, which I think is good. Shang Tsung's a weird anomaly again because he still does not have a single Union of Light seasonal palette, I don't think. He definitely hasn't had one in seasons 3, 4, and 5. Maybe he had one in the two I wasn't playing for. But that is weird. That is weird how his Order of Darkness skin is treated as the normal one. I, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, I prefer the Order of Darkness palette, right? It, it it gives Deadly Alliance vibes. Although, Shank has an actual Deadly Alliance skin now, so I, it somewhat negates the the value of that Order of Darkness Shang skin, but it's what it is. Um, it is weird, and even in this season, I don't know why he's in a load. But I mean, like, up close you can tell, like, these are different shades. You have some orange ones as well, which look quite nice. But, like, the middle one now, you know, the, the, the more darker shades, yeah, those will just blend in with the Season 4 palettes, I feel. Um, but the ones with the brighter yellow or gold, I guess, those look, those look cool. And you got these with the guard eyes. I think you need to have guard eyes to get, like, different... Like, colours like purple, I think. Um, again, there's a bit more variety than, like, the first three seasons. There are more colours going on, but it is a bit more standard. You've got... You don't have, like, the random colours of, like, season four. Season four had, like, a, a black uh, and grey and, like, a red scarf smoke skin, which... Does not feel of a theme at all, it's, but yeah, sure, take it. There's also like a, a, a red and black garish skin as well. They just kind of threw random colours for some characters, which was great because those stood out, you know. There was an incentive to, to work towards them, you know. They, they actually matched the characters because they, they didn't just use the same... Skins for everyone, but but yeah, you see a pattern, right? Like you've got like the blue, you have the browns, some yellows, oranges, right? Like like blues, of course. These garish skins are very cool. Again, this is like the first season where I I think the actual special variant skins, the ones that aren't just recolors and have like you know like the different effects and they change the model a bit. I think this is the first season where those actually look better. Because normally I'm not too keen on them, just because they don't really fit many characters. But this one's subtle enough that I feel it does. And it's just a very cool design in general. Particularly the purple one I, I really do like. I think... Oh, Johnny's shirt has like a, a new pattern on it. That's kind of neat. That's a pretty bland design, so giving the shirt some patterns. That's a decent idea. The lightning on that shirt, that's kind of neat. The Order of Darkness ones do look very cool. Um, I will say that. Also, they're much more vibrant in game because we've seen screenshots of, of, of this one in the middle and it looks a lot more vibrant now. So maybe that's it. I think they want a, a vibrant in game. These are good katana palettes. I like them. Um, but like overall, it's quite solid. It's nothing too crazy, but like for an invasion season, this is solid. I'm just surprised by the amount of like yellow and blue skins when we just kind of had that. But I do think there's enough for most of these to actually stand out. But it is quite funny. And hers another really strange case. Look at how many palettes Order of Darkness Kung Lao gets. The these special ones for the lining are like Elder God tier. Um, so I'm not going to be getting them, but there's like so many of the other one, ones, two, four, yeah, six, no, no, eight, eight palettes, eight Order of Darkness palettes for one season. That is so random. You're normally going to get two. I think the only exception to that before is like Havoc in season four had four 
And here you have like the Elder God skins, and you could also get two more in Invasions. Which, I thought they'd continue doing that. I thought it was a way to get a, a seasonal pack for that skin. Even though it's Elder God status, like, getting to Elder God status is pretty ridiculous. Um, you know, I've never done it, and I have many hundreds of playtime, but however, I'm not really stuck online all the time, so, you know, I, I have a reason to do things, but yeah, look at these Lee Mae skins, nothing burger, man, there's so nothing, I like this one in the middle, I like the orange, I think the orange really pops out, the, the rest here, there's so nothing, it, it's, it's quite a shame, and I've been seeing discussions of, like, is Lee May like a bad character and whatever? And, you know, I've seen the take a lot. That, you know, very fun moveset. But, yeah, she's kind of bland. Her costumes are kind of bland. And I think it's a solid base, but it is just kind of mediocre. And, like, n her never getting the special palettes can't be doing her any favours. Surely not. You know, the lining stuff would look cool. I mean, she's got, like, a fireworks gimmick, so... You know, it would, there's some relation there. You know, like, you know, stuff coming from the sky. Um, but, but, yeah, like, I, I do agree this thing, right? It's pretty average. Which is a massive shame, because she's one of my favourite characters. Um... But, I mean, I'm going to get into a story tangent if I go on. But, like, they butchered this girl. They fucked her over. over. Um, you know, she's not really getting many costumes. Her costumes are kind of... Eh. She has the deception skin. It's not an alt, though, so it's based on the weaker primary. But, like, they updated to make it not sexualized. That's all fine and dandy. But, like... Even then, it's not that... It's not too incredible of a skin. You know, I spent 1,000 crystals on it. And, you know, in this update, you've got 3 dr skins that are only 500. So now I'm like... Huh? <laughs> you know, I, I feel like I should get, like, 500 crystals back because the pricing is already outdated on that skin. Um, it's quite rough, you know. I, I, I don't think you're giving Lee, any anyone much of an incentive to play Lee May. You know, she's a bland character in the story, and these are very bland palettes for her. Which, Lee May was not actually a bland character before. I know that was a general idea, but she wasn't. Now she very much is. She, she's honestly... One of the most generic characters in the franchise. If you're going off of this version. Right. Um, her and Smoke, honestly. Really do stand out as not being stand out at all, if that makes sense. But, yeah. Moving on. Liu Kang, this is a good season for him. Because, you know, he's the god of fire and lightning. They forgot about the lightning part. Which, by the way, if you're going to force me to play as... Fucking fire god Liu Kang every time I want to play as Liu Kang, which is currently never. I've never really touched him. I think he's the one character I have that I've not got a single bit of mastery XP for. I have not touched him once. Um, outside of the, the story mode, that was months ago. Um, but yeah, like at least have him do lightning stuff. If not, then give him a human skin because it's. Just a Liu Kang moveset. Like, sure, you changed the bicycle kick. You just made it the whirlwind kicks that Kung Lao had. Um, and made them slower, so they look actually quite lame. But, uh, yeah. These look good. These do look good. See, this is... Well, I wish they'd take some, like, originality. I wish it wasn't, like, the same colour scheme. I wish... You know, you had a Liu Kang one, and, you know, instead of, like, the yellow or purple shirt, make it red, you know? I, I, I feel there was stuff to do here. But, yeah, you've got, like, white hair, god Liu Kang back, so that's something. Um, and you got more palettes here. Oh, the Order Dice one has 
That's not so I think I think he's the 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 whatever the sixth tier is called, I can't remember in Combat League, but uh you get him there and actually I quite like that. I I quite like it. Still not touching the character, and that skin is not loading in. Uh, I'm surprised most of these have loaded in actually because Winter Warehouse has understandably been struggling. Oh, and hers in a bun. Okay, no, no. But like, look at the amount of regular patches. It's like six. Is it? You know, there is a pattern of inconsistency that is becoming consistent, which is ironic, I know. But like, certain characters typically get more patches than others, and you know, some just get less. However, I will say here, you know, she's got some special ones for the Order Dark Star. Again, it seems the Order Dark skins are getting a lot of attention now. Which is kind of neat, although it does feel like the, the, the regular parts are getting less. Like, when I'm seeing who, like, who has the special variant palettes, it seems to just be for the Order Dark skins, which is interesting. But these look interesting. Um... I don't know how often I'd use them. Um, it would depend on the gear. If it's like glowing gear and it has like the lightning, some like lightning wings, that'd be kind of rad. Quan Chi is really good palettes. He he's he's like not got a single bad palette in the game. I because he he's not bound to a color palette at all, really. So just anything kind of works with him. I'm very curious to see how he's changed the. Uh, the the skin on him but like these look very sick i like the orange one here and now you got the braden skins which they give him the guard eyes um well i'm glad this doesn't just make every character feel like oh it's just raiden's palette which they can really do anyway because they've already done those colors or they've also already done yellow and blue so I don't know. Um, again, I wish I just didn't do the regular colors here. I think he needs his more regular colors to make these ones really stand out. Because they still fit in because lightning theme. But not as regular palettes, like, right? Like, if you want, this is like the equivalent of getting your Thunder Guard Raiden. These are um, odd substitutes. At least, at least there's options now with the guard eyes. You know, but most of it comes to dark rain, which they updated to give god eyes, which makes that skin a lot more worth it. However, like, I feel they should have updated the union of light skin, give that god eyes, right? Because that's meant to be another god skin in a story mode. You don't need to change the, the character model because the, the model for god raiden looks kind of cursed anyway, right? Like, like you, you can. Still have him be Asian and a god. I don't know why they even bother changing the model there, but um, the eyes need to change for, for sure. Um, which you know you'll see more of. These ones are quite decent, you know, like black and gray. This one, you know, you got like some gold. I like the cloud patterns, some of these skins do have as well. They feel more fusion-y, fusion-themed, but sure, why not? Um, the, those ones seem quite good. But then, yeah, these are quite drastic colours. And then you have the uh, World of Darkness ones, which, you know, seeing that in, like, a special seasonal palette makes that skin a lot more appealing, because, quite frankly, I think it's a solid, like, armoured Raiden design. It is not a good dark Raiden design. It probably is worse. Um, which is why I find it don't have the, all skins they chose this one to just copy paste from Eleven. Also, if the lining's just red on all, all this one of those pass, then it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. This one needs to have a different colour, I think. Hell, if you're going to have, like, these yellow colour schemes, give Raiden yellow lightning. Why the hell not, you know? I would think give Rain purple lightning, but he always has that now, I think. Um, and speaking of rain, here he is. Oh, you can't see the skins, but I showed you the cool ones. I showed you the cool ones. Reiko, Reiko actually has special seasonal palettes this time, which is a shock. And also quite good because it gives Reiko, like, 
glowing eyes, which, you know, that's kind of a very good thing. Like this one here, and I think they were very specific with it because I think the other ones have like cracks in the eyes. This one's just straight up blue eyes, which if you know MK4 Reiko, he just said blue eyes. Again, I really wish we had a more normal color option for this. I really wish they did this and just chose, oh, we'll just give Reiko a red one, right? To, to, to fit Reiko a bit more. Because this is sick. Like, you just gave me the MK4 eyes, sort of. Like, that's cool. Um, but, like, obviously, it, 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 it's not. Like, in because look at the drastic palette. Um, Reptile's kind of cool. Reptile's getting their next season, which I'm happy with because I, I mean, I, I don't I don't know how I'm going to feel about the Saurian theme, but I feel like it's an obvious one to do. And I like the, I liked the noob um, Saurian skin in MK11. So if they do more palettes like that, will be good. If if it is just like, oh, has green reskins and then we change their texture to have scales, that's going to be a bit shit. However, it gives us Lizard Reptile, which I think is actually the biggest part. It, it, it's not that, oh, we're getting Lizard Skin Tower look like Reptile, because that has no value in a game that has Reptile. I mean, you get Crocodile. <laughs> if anyone cares about Crocodile, you get Crocodile, probably. But, um... Yeah, you, I, I, I assume next season... We will get Raptor skins where he's like, you know, MK4 Raptor, you know, MK9, MKX Raptor. That sort of middle form between human and full lizard. I might just get that, which then opens the window to like something like an MK4 skin. Um, because MK4 Raptor doesn't have the tail. I suppose you could just do other skins about it anyway because Deceptions in Dallas seems to just pull design elements from like other designs um so clearly they're not like being completely accurate but yeah you're pretty now passing you get the idea right and again no Union of Light palettes for Shang which is weird very very weird but yeah, like, like as you can see, it, it, it's the same stuff for every character. You don't have like the, the random, the random odd palette that only a certain character has, like in season four, which is a shame. But uh, I think this is solid. That color scheme made it look like turning into pants on. That was kind of weird. <laughs> um. The pads for Tiny Shoe are quite decent because you have like the yellow and the oranges, so I kind of like that. Now, I haven't played the Invasions part of it yet, um, but like I, I know there's new like mini games of sorts, which I think is good. Apparently, a lot of them are being made optional. Um, there's stuff like you know, doing combos on a uh, cyber, which by the way, can we add cyber smoke? I mean, stick it on cosmetics for just real quick. They gotta, they gotta fucking stop with the shrine, the shrine bullshit. In a, in a sense of they're drip feeding two story skins at a time, and this includes the festival skins, and there's like five of those, and there's like four of the monk skins, and there's still like an armored Johnny Cage skin, and you still got. Yeah, Mac and Quan Chi ults that aren't in the game for some reason, but we're bothering to give Quan Chi all these crazy seasonal palettes, new gear, and like a new premium shop skin before we add his two existing ults. It, it makes no sense. It it really doesn't. Like I like I I I think they're fucking teasing me with this, right? Like, come on. You're you're going to give me this in the shrine, but you're not going to give me the actual Wormax skin. Um, I will come back to cosmetics when I talk about uh, Mac and the premium shop. But yeah, it's invasion season. I think it's a step in the right direction, right? Like, I, I don't think it changes how low we feel about them playing the mode. Um, I don't know how common they occur. Apparently, ambushes are really prominent because for ambushes, you now have the hybrid character in Chapter 15 showing up, which I think is a great idea, actually. I think. 
they're very fun characters, you know, they're fun to meme and whatnot. They have unique movesets because they kind of merge movesets. Having an invasion makes sense because they're completely wasted on chapter 15. There is a... In your overall stats, there is a, a section for that, that, that will tell you how many chapter 15 opponents you defeated. They thought that'd be replayable. They fucked up so hard on that. They really thought people would care enough to actually replay it and pick different characters. Like, absolute joke. They, 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 chose, they chose to do that instead of having an actual ending to a story mode. That is insane. Um, so now they're giving them a different use. And it's still kind of nothing, because ambushes give you nothing. Um, I, I think the ambush mechanic, the idea is kind of cool, like you get randomly attacked on the on the screen thing, and also that's like a, the, the guard mask that protects you, the mask guard thing. Um, that consumable, make sure you don't get ambushes. But like, here's the thing, you get an ambush, you get no XP. What is the point then? I mean... I think last season, I don't know if it's the same in this season, if they're so common, you'd get like five herbs to but, but, um, boost a uh, stat. Um, that was sort of the, the reason to try and look out for them in the post game. Um, but yeah, there's no XP for them, which does take away from the experience because it's like, oh, well, another fucking ambush thing, because they give you nothing. Right, um, so I find that weird. I do like how you know, because season four did not do this at all. You know, the SFI five challenges were just projectile dodging. They didn't try in the wacky other stuff. They didn't try any extra mini games like the ones we have, where you've got like target practice and all these wacky stuff, right? And apparently, all this optional now and stuff. Um, which I think is good, and I think that's going to get them to make more of these out there extra games, because I, I think that's the, 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 the point of Invasions, is to have not just fine, but to just merge all these little mini-game stuff, merge everything, uh, like other test your mini-games, I imagine they're coming, right? There's a lot they can do to spice up each encounter. We're not at that point yet, but it's an improvement. Um, so I hope they keep doing that because it, it is fun stuff and then maybe you could end up you know eventually we get like towers for D mini games like in 9 and X I don't know but I mean Invasion is a mode that I like until it drags on and most of the time in the season playing it is when it's at the dragging on stage unfortunately it gives good XP now though it is the best place for XP when when I was playing in season three. I know I know it wasn't like this before. I think season two had like insane XP at the gateway or whatever. But before like in season three, it the, the XP was just the same for everything. So it's like why don't I just play online? Right? Because, because I'm having more fun now. Um and I and I think it's kind of annoying, um, you know, like like how much the gateway has now, how many pallets it includes now, which I want the game to have a purpose. I wanted it to have a purpose, and it has that now. But it's such a grind, and like it's only fifty days. It's quite ridiculous how they expect you to just do that each season, go through six maps, do all the side stuff. It is ridiculous. I will do the maces at least. I will figure out what's in the gateway mace and figure out if I'm gonna be grinding any of that. Which I'd rather not honestly. Oh, I don't even think I have the time to this season. I, I really don't. Um so yeah. Now here's the season premium shop update which this is probably the best one in terms of what we got here. Because we got more three D R S skins which you know, I'll always take. I do think, though, and I don't think this is changing. Um, they take a lot of liberties with the designs of the uh, 3D skins. How they did for the uh, um, the UMK3 skins in this game, actually. Although I think they look better, the best they've ever looked in that game. Um, 
and normally the renders here they look better in game and I think that rings true for these but uh yeah like we've got the Deadly Alliance Quan Chi and Shang Tsung brilliant Daylon's Quan Chi you know kind of the norm design for him the chest plate's kind of odd you know it's like it's wider and it's more central and the red pops out more However, I think the vibrant colours helps for his alternate palettes because he has some wild colours, which I think is great. On Switch, the amulet is just white, though. It is just, like, white instead of gold, which is, is weird. But, yeah, DLC skins, and it's only 500. Um, currently in the shop is Xiao and the Quan Chi skin, and they're both 500, which is a steal. That is very good value for the cheapest skin price, right? Um, so I'll be getting both of them probably. You know, I gotta grind the crystals out. You know, I also want Shang. Um, it's my favorite Shang design. This isn't as good as the original, but I mean, it, it couldn't be. But like Shang has a beard again finally, which he looks so much better with. He looks so much better bearded than he was clean shaven. And, you know, I, I wish there was a bit more gold here. Yeah, the gold's a bit muted, but it does look great. This does look very good. And if it, again, if it's 500 again, like, like I don't know how they're going to price stuff. Like, everything is going to be 500 now. If you're going to have something as wild as Deception Shao Kahn as a 500 crystal skin. Right? Like, like that has insane detail and stuff. The first 500 crystal skin, that was a, that was a Christmas Katana skin. And that one had a lot of details as well. Um, and six parts. The Shao one only has four. Although, again, Shao doesn't have much variety in palettes anyway. So I think that's fine. The Shao, the Shao skin looks very good. But this is one that does not feel like a deception skin at all. It, 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 like every Shao Kahn skin kind of takes the same design elements at least until MK11 fucked it all up so if you're not going to be faithful to a specific variant then you could really just label this as any Shao Kahn hell I think they should just name the skin Shao Kahn um, because I think calling it the Deception skin is misleading it does have a cape like Deception it does have that like a full cape which is rad. Um, and I could have a very much base on Deception with the armor and stuff, but it is just a different skin altogether. Um, and we basically got confirmation that we're never getting the Wrath Hammer because this is it now, which cool looking axe, but this is not a hammer. It really ain't, which, you know, even though Dark Shell has the Wrath Hammer, the actual, like, MK11 Wrath Hammer, apparently. It's um, it's very glitchy, right? It, it's very glitchy. Modders have used it, and it's very glitchy apparently. So, I guess we're just not gonna get it ever, which is a shame. Um, I do have nothing to comment about gear that comes with seasonal shop skins. I'll talk about that after, but I do think this is a good shell skin, and you, you know, I say good, it, it's great, really. Like. <laughs> My problem is it's General Shao, which, I mean, it makes his costume the, all better because he needed, like, a proper Shao Kahn skin and basing a skin on Deception Shao, you literally can't choose anything better, right? Like, like that is Shao Kahn's best design because it is just MK2 Shao Kahn with a bit more going on and then a cape. Like, perfect, sure. And now this one has even more going on. Right, um, I wouldn't call it over design, but like for a Shao Kahn skin, it's kind of getting there. But it it looks insane, you know. Like again, I don't really think this is like Deception Shao. It sort of ticks the same design elements, so I, I won't give it a pass there. But uh, it, it is crazy. This is probably the most menacing he's looked, weirdly enough, and it's General Shao. Hell, I mean, like, think about all the designs Shao Kahn has had. This is probably his second best. 
I don't think it's as good as the actual Deception skin. Um, just because it's a bit weirder, right? But I do think it's a second because it's based on that skin and it's like does a lot of its own stuff. It's kind of nuts. And I think it doing its own thing is actually somewhat of a good thing because I, I think if you just did like straight up basic, very simple classic Shao, that would be very odd doing that with General Shao's moveset and the axe. Again, I thought the hammer would be gear, but it is what it is. Um, it's it's certainly like just very very crazy skin. This is. Um, I was going to be getting it for five hundred. Right, it makes me want to play Shao. Um, but yeah, Shao was always going to have that problem of well, his move set doesn't even involve a hammer properly. You could make it gear, maybe. But, like, he still has none of his classic moves. He has the uplifting knee, which is a deception move, weirdly enough. It's a 3D era only Shao move, which I can't believe they remember that. And that's the only classic move Shao has. His deception knee that most people don't remember. Um, it's a good move set, by the way. It's just not, a, not really a Shao move set. But, yeah, I will absolutely get this and try him out. Once I get enough crystals, you know, which earning 500 crystals shouldn't take that long. In actuality, I just got to hope it's still in the shop by the time I... Enough. I might get this one before I get the Quan Chi one, because, like, I could start playing through Shao, and he, I, I, I haven't got far in his mastery. I've completed Quan Chi's mastery. I'm not going to be doing anything with Quan Chi for a while, so I might stop by getting this skin. Which I'm glad they're all 500, at least I assume Shang and Sindel will be. Um, Shang, Shang, you could... You could increase, because here's, like, here's the thing. Shao only has four pallets. And he doesn't really have, like, a Wrath Hammer. So if they, like, charge a full price for it, a lot of people would just avoid it. Because it's, it, it's still not exactly Shao Kahn, right? But uh, the, the, the quantity one's going to be cheap anyway because it's a common skin. He's shirtless. It's a simple design. I thought 600, though, because, like, MK3 Sub-Zero was 600 for, like, a bit more going on than the other classic skins. But, nope, they're just inconsistent with it. So I hope it's all 500. Because I was very ready to drop 3,000 crystals just for Quan, Shang, and Shao skins, which I only have, like, 400... Not 400, 4,000 left I can earn. 4,100. And 50, an odd 50. Um, you know, I'm building up gold coins so I, for, for the Switch, so I can probably get, like, another 1250 at whatever point. The story fashion will probably have crystals. Like, there's more to come, right? But it, it, if it's 500 is the average for a skin now, that's very good, right? It, I, I feel they should probably drop the price of the old skins and just refund some of the crystals, right? Like... But, but because, like, the 1,000 crystal skins, those aren't at that value anymore. Hell, like, you know, that Christmas Katana skin, now this Shao skin, these are, like, the, as, as, as overly designed as you can get, right? And they're at the cheapest tier. So, honestly, I just make everything 500 across the board, quite frankly, because I... I I feel like even the cheapest, even the cheapest uh, Dragon Crystal pack is like 500, right? That's like four pound. That's still of a price because that's like, you know, a five, five, five would get you like three skins in MK11. But I think people would be swayed over that way. Where if you want a specific skin, you know, oh, four pounds, that's like, that's a feasible amount. I'll get it, right? Like, like, like if, if they just make everything 500. You will get better sales, I think. I think it will get better sales, and that's probably why they've decreased it, because they're not getting sales, and apparently WB is only making everything live service because they're in debt or whatever. I, I, I haven't really looked into that, but apparently they're in big debt, and uh, that's why we got shit like this going on, which is kind of annoying, because these are insane. Like, I don't think they're very faithful redesigns, but like what they're based on is incredible, so these skins look incredible. The Sindel one, I like it. It's based on the Deceptional, which 
surprisingly Blackish, I think, was the better choice because I think that one has some cool design elements that I would have liked to see with, like, more regular Sindel colors. Also, she had a crown, like, in this game, right? So you can have that as the gear, and they've done that. It looks decent in-game. I don't play Sindel enough to want to buy it, but if it's 500 and, like, I'm a big Sindel player down the road, I could get it. Um, for sure. Um, but like, this adds a lot. Because I was thinking, there's, like, nothing for me to spend my crystals on. Then, like, I came around to the UMK3 skins. I got, like, a, the Scorpion Smoke ones. Because they were the ninjas I didn't have pallets for. You know, it's a Hanzo skin, kind of, a Scorpion. You know, I'll get the Shao skin because it's a Shao Kahn skin, kind of, a Shao. Um, I'll get the Day Alliance skins just because I fucking love Deadly Alliance. Um, and the the Sindel one's less necessary. Alfie just uh, feasted on the post. He feasted on the mail. So that was cool. But <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is a good sign for the skins. Because they're cheaper. Which I saw people claiming that, oh, they've decreased the skin prices. Which I didn't think was necessarily true. I think about a season one, yes. Because season one had like ridiculous pricing for stuff like the the Day of the Dead skins, which are just glorified reskins, and they're 800. They are 800 crystals. That is very outdated. They should be like 200, right? Like, like I mean, how much? I like guess 300 for the the other like seasonal reskins, which by the way, they shouldn't exist. They should not exist at all. But uh, yeah, this is good. This this is an improvement, right? Like like more free the era skins as well. I like. There's more free air skins than anything else, which is cool because they've been neglected for so long. They still are yet to actually do a faithful free air skin. They got very close for DA Scorpion. Dead Eye Scorpion is literally completely accurate to the old from Dead Lines, except it's a flaming. It's not a flaming skull. It's a burning head, which is the entire appeal of that skin is it's a flaming skull. So that skin sucks. That is the one I don't have. Um, I, I, I got the other ones. Um, you know, the Lime, the Sub-Zero, the Atari. Even though they're, they're 1,000 apiece, right? Like, like, those are cool. I'm glad these ones aren't 1,000 apiece because, yeah, I, I'd be having to spend money at that point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, 500 per thing is good. I think they should drop everything else to 500 just refund the crystals as it is because... Like, now with this update, like, you, you can't really set anything at a higher price, right? Like, you can do bundles. That's something I think I should do more of. I think I should do more bundles. But, yeah, I, I think just set everything 500 universally. Don't even, like, price things based on quality. Just do 500 across the board at that point, right? If that's as low as you're willing to go, and you're willing to go that low for skins like Deception Shao Khan, like, then... Yeah, everything should just be 500. Because of what's going to have more value than skins of this detail. Right? Um, so that's my take on it. Um, and another thing I wanted to cover. This mask is in the premium shop. For Sub-Zero. The, the, the Nation mask. Which came with Day Alliance Sub-Zero. It is not the Day Alliance mask. Which is weird. Right, like, 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 they didn't bother giving him, like, faithful gear. Which I find strange. Although saying that, you know, like, the other cast I'm reading, like, Quan Chi has. Like, like, I feel when applicable, do it. You know, but they didn't hear, even though it's the most obvious thing to do. Um, I know Daylight scored me off just as a random mask. Um, and I think it should just make the burning hand, like, gear that you can just put on any skin. But that's a whole other thing. I would have got the skin then, but um, yeah, I have this skin. This isn't my photo, this is from Reddit, but I have this skin, and that kind of annoys me. I did not get a skin for the mask because, again, it's a random mask, but I thought it was pretty cool, right? I was like, well, at least this is a bonus for you know, spending the crystals on it, but no, it's just free now, it's just free 250 seasonal fucking credits. Like, like, what? Like, that is insane. 
that is insane to I kind of want a refund on that skin now. Knowing that they're just charging, like, other 3DR skins at 500 now. Like, what the fuck am I doing with a, with a Dayline Sub-Zero skin? Like, like, soon enough, don't add the Deception Sub-Zero, and it'll be half the price. Right? Like, insane. Insane to do this, right? And, like, people have been trying to argue that, well, you're paying for the skins, not the gear. Everything in the bundle has the premium shop exclusive tag, right? Like, when you go to the to, to view the contents of the, the bundle thing you're buying, the icon isn't there at all. The icon shows up on the bundle, you select it, it shows all the palettes and the gear it comes with. Meaning everything in that bundle is exclusive to the shop. They have, like, straight-up false advertiser. But it's objectively misleading, right? Like, I, and I definitely feel aware, I was like, they can just do this for any gear now, right? Like, even if it, like, is for a specific theme, like the Day Alliance and the Tower ones, a big reason why I got that in that skin, right? They could just throw it in, right? So, like, what the fuck's going on? I, I Like, I do not like that. I'm not comfortable with that, you know? Um... Again, this is why people aren't buying your fucking dragon crystals because they're not transparent at all and the prices are different all the fucking time. It is stupid. Like, this is very bad. Like, if this is just this one instance, then sure. I imagine the day I might score him ask if it hasn't been sold already, it probably will for free. Because that is also another random mask that isn't the actual Deadly Alliance mask. But, like... That wicked, like, hammer called a Rath Hammer, which, I mean, Axe. Axe, they call a Rath Hammer, you know, it's nothing like the Rath Hammer. That, that the, 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 the Deception Shout can't see kind of stuff. That doesn't relate to Deception Shout. They could just throw that in the seasonal shop, right? Like, what the hell's stopping them? You know, like, like what's stopping them now from just adding any gear? Like, if people go to downplay this, then don't go crying when, like, your fucking precious Deadly Alliance special gear is in the seasonal shop, right? Like, like, because they can just do that now. They can just do that now, uh, and fuck you, you're going to have to accept it. Which I, I don't think they will, because this is also a reskin of a mask anyway, like... This is not a one in a kind mask. There's like a fully full eyes one that was in the shrine, I think. Um, again, it seems just like a random mask, which is dumb, but you bundled it with the thing. You should probably tell people what's exclusive and what's not. I think a very simple solution is just update us. I might contact support because they've been good at giving me shit. Right, like, like I, 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 they might give me a refund for this because <laughs> I think it's objective, objective, um, fucking whatever. Um, what's the word? Like, like false advertising because it says it's exclusive. It's not right. Um, I mean, I want the skin, but like, it's not really worth one thousand now. There's other three D R skins that are five hundred. Whatever, I'll figure it out. <laughs> it it's done though, and it's quite worrying. I don't think it'll lead to anything because again, it does feel like a random gear piece with that bundle anyway. But it doesn't matter because it it, it 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 was labeled an exclusive. Like it it doesn't matter what take you have or well, you didn't buy it for the gear. The the, the gear was bundled in an exclusive bundle. You can't just take it out now. Right? Like, like that's set in stone. Um, so, yeah, enjoy your fucking native mask. I assume it doesn't get a discount on the skin. If it does, then then I'll want a fucking refund. Because that is stupid. But, um... Yeah, what a shame. Um, but, like, a lot of the gear we do see in the shop, it, like, on its own, does end up going to the, uh... the uh, premium store. Not the premium one. The seasonal shop. But, like, you can buy it now for, like, early access or whatever. Or if it's, like, out of the seasonal rotation. Right? This was just bundled with the skin. So, different criteria there. 
this has turned to a mostly cosmetic talk, which that's basically what the updates are. I mean, like, there's new moves for, like, some of the ninjas, which, that's cool. Again, I'm not really going to code that. I think it was necessary, though. Like, Scorpion needed more strings. He only had four before. A uh, fifth helps. Um, I know Reptile has, like, some crazy new acid spit, like, teleport cancelling and more invisibility options. And Rain's got a new move. Rain has a bunch of combo strings now. I think he has one that's, like, an MK11 string. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. I'm waiting for Havoc to get this. Give Havoc some nice. Give him a new special move. It doesn't have to be like a glass move. I think he could do like a solid, like low thing. Give him the tombstone drop me. Make that a low. Right? But like if if oh he's Dairu, then give him the tombstone drop. The tombstone drop fits him better than it does Dairu. Right? Like that's my idea. Like if you want to add some value to this whole Dairu's Havoc thing, then I think the tombstone drop would actually fit into his moves and help him out a lot because I think he needs some better low options or you know a faster option like his projectiles and stuff because he has way too many weaknesses uh, uh, and it, all of that was just to compensate for like his roll attack which is very powerful but also it's two bars to get like the the um, the neck snap thing and that starts an extra combo, right? Like, it, it, that's cool and all, but that is not crazy enough for him to, like... He needs buffs. He needs his gear to be fixed as well. He has, like, one working gear piece in the Switch version. Although, I haven't actually checked this update. But, like, can't imagine it's fixed. Like, I, I pretty much doubt it. We got Ermac here anyway. Which, yeah, this is fucking cursed. I... I came away from the trailer thinking, okay, yeah, I am fine with how Ermac looks. Right, you have the weird grey skin, I'm over it. Because you have the mask now. Right. I, 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 It's not my preference, but I'm over it. I kind of take it back. Because he's really fucking weird in this game. Like, he is genuinely disturbing. Um... Like, when you go to his gear, like, he, like, fucking rattles his head and, like, stares into the camera. I don't know why they tried making him a horror character. I don't know why he's got, like, horror stags going on. I don't know what the point of that was. But, <sighs> gameplay wise, he's very fun. Okay, like, I, I'm getting some very percent plus combos now. I'm not great with him yet, but I fucked around with him a bit. Spent, like, an hour in practice with him and Cyrex and then took him online. Very fun character, right? Um, I think XP might have got a buff online as well because like I'm already like a few levels in. I only played like ten matches. Um, I did notice a new bug on casual. Like your win loss record does not show for yourself. I think if the opponent one shows up fine, so I match from the opponent's view. They can't see their own win loss record, but they can see the opponents. So it doesn't really affect anything. It still tracks your matches played in the combat card area but that's another weird thing maybe that's just switch only i don't know i will say cosmetically i like all his alt colors i think they're all good i think they did a good job of keeping you know reddish colors so it still feels like an ermac palette i think there's good options there he has no seasonal stuff which surprised me i guess because he's new i imagine season six will get stuff and I imagine any DLC will eventually get palettes of the seasons they miss because they repeat. I think there's going to be more additions in that regard. Um, but uh, his gear, we got to his gear. His gear is real bad, honestly. And I'm someone who's been very much liking the the combat pack gear. And, like, I thought, oh, he's not going to have any crazy gear, right? It's just going to be his mask, I think. Maybe his hood changes, too. But regardless, it's not going to be anything that exciting. But, no, they decided to make it, like, a Havoc and Reiko situation, where, like, the full helmet changes, which I think works for Reiko. Havoc, most of the options are just kind of fucking bonkers. Ermac is even more bonkers. He has some fucking goofy shit. 
Uh, like the first one that I unlocked was like an extra mask, which looked cool. But now he has no hood. And he's bold, by the way. Ermac is very much a boldy, which I don't like. I, I don't like that. And he has like some weird fucking head case thing where he's got like these leather straps connecting to the top of his head. Um, yeah, no. I wish he just changed the mask. Right? Like, hey, I, like, what's going on with the extra bit to the head? I'm not going to bother showing the gear. Right? But, like, I think the last one he unlocks is, like, a Plague Doctor mask. That's, like, his rank 20 reward. Like, wh- what? It, what the fuck's that? You know? And he, th- this default gear, the hood and the mask, that's his only normal gear. I mean, he has one that's, like, a head sock, kind of. Which I think looks alright in game. I fought an Ermac with that. I actually think that's a decent option. He has like an astronaut helmet, kind of, that has like a soul in it. And the soul thing looks cool, but that's very random, you know? And like the rest is kind of weird. He has no probably maskless option, uh, which I mean, I wasn't going to use anyway, but you know, that's something you had in the story that they changed. Um, he has options where you can see his face and stuff. And yeah, I, I'm just not a fan. I think Ermac really needs his ults right now. He needs them more than Quan Chi because Quan Chi looks great regardless. Ermac, yeah, and like, yeah, I could accept the grey skin, but the, the weird fucking like horror elements and the wacky gear, it's not doing it. I think you should have just had him have different hoods and different masks, or just different masks for that man, because I I really don't think it's great. He has like a medieval helmet as well. Like 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 a gladiator helmet. Like what? That's Reiko's thing, isn't it? And even though it doesn't really fit Reiko as cool as it is for him, I don't I don't know. Maybe it'll warm up to me, maybe it'll look better in game, but eh, They're weird man. They're fucking weird. Um, but yeah, gameplay wise, I guess the most important thing is great. Characterization is good as well. It feels like a 3D era Mac in a way. Um, so I appreciate that. So overall, I'm positive on it. I'm overall positive on the season. I think it means good things because you, you get new moves, you're getting consistent content, better priced premium shop stuff. But yeah, this has been my. Hour long ramble. Um, Mavado is coming in May. It's a random time. They don't give the specific dates anymore, which is fucking annoying. If you're going to drip feed, at least give me a specific number. Um, but yeah, that'll be cool when he comes. That's the thing I'm more excited for, quite frankly, than anything we got in this update. That's the thing I really care about is going Mavado. Which I normally count a cameo more than the main fighter, actually. So it normally is the mid season I enjoy more. But, uh, you know, June 4th, the season ends. Homeland will be out at that point, right? Um, which I'm not looking forward to that. I, I really couldn't give a toss about Homelander. I really couldn't care less. But Farrah comes with him. Well, no, because Farrah comes a month later. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for that season, because I don't think I want to even play Homelander. I, I'll have to see his gameplay, see if there's a, anything that looks cool enough to incentivize me to play such a abhorrent character. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Season 6 is wrapped off in this one. Like, I, I think I mentioned that earlier, but yeah, I like Order of Darkness. Wrapped off, it's my favourite Order of Darkness skin. I'm excited to get that. Um, But yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.